the name of your relative. My father, Chester Schaefer, was a World War II veteran. He was a CB on the Battle of Guam. Thank you. My father, John Vincent Sarno, is CB, and my second father was Frank Lepper. He was a uh, gunner's mate in the Navy. My mother, uh, Pearl Opal Johnson, was in the Army Air Force, and my father was in the Army uh, during the World War II, Leroy Johnson. Thank you. My father, Nathan Steinberg, they called him Teddy, was in the Army. He was due to get out in January 42 when Pearl Harbor got bombed and got sent over. And then in 44, he joined the Big Red One in Normandy on D-Day plus two and was in Bastogne when the Germans surrounded Bastogne in the Battle of the Bulge. Oh, wow. My father was a World War II veteran with the Italian Army. He was a prisoner of war for five years in uh, Ethiopia. So even though he was with the Italian army, he was still, he's still my veteran. Thank you. Uh, could you could all of you hear that? His father was in the, in the Italian army, and he was a prisoner for five years. My dad was a Marine in the Navy, and my Division. He was a radio carrier. Okinawa, Guam, uh, Guadalcanal, uh, shot in the back, uh, an eighth of an inch from his heart, and I wouldn't be here. But he was the most lovable, jovial soul, and he shared all his stories. And much to the chagrin of my mother, who would say, Dean, don't tell the kids that, and he goes, they should know because it happened. And I believe that, and I believe everyone should share their stories. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I saw some hands back here. My dad was John Joseph Farley. He was at Pearl Harbor on the USS California along with BJ. My grandfather, John Joseph Farley Sr., was 30 years career army, was killed in Baton in the Death March. He's buried in Arlington. Wow. Thank you. Is there anybody else in the back row here? I'm gonna, I'll work my way up there in just a minute. I was in World War II, but I was fighting. I was a kid, five years old, when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Uh, it's the same Sunday they attacked Hong Kong, and I was in Hong Kong. And I was a, a refugee, China, going to the Chongqing. I don't know how many of you served in, in China, but uh, uh, Flying Tigers, uh, you've probably heard of them. Uh, they were my heroes. Uh, and the, the 14th Air Force, subsequently, were also my heroes. So when I came to the United States, I joined the Air Force because uh, I want to be part of a winning team. <laughs> father was um, Earl Crager. He was a battalion commander that took the beaches of Leyte. Mm. My father, James Joe, uh, served on a destroyer in the Atlantic. He was a, uh, operated the deck charges and uh, uh, never could hear a damn thing after that. <laughs> 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 My name's Mary Hicks. I'm with his sons and daughters, Pearl Harbor survivors. And my father, William Marlowe Hicks, was on the USS Montgomery, which was um, in the harbor that day. It was a mine layer. And my mother, Ophelia Hicks, um, was a welder at the Marin shipyards. My father was Thomas Getchow, Jr. Uh, he was a tech sergeant with 82nd Engineers and was working alongside the CBs in Guadalcanal, putting up the runways right after attack, Borneo, Admiralty Islands, uh, 
caught malaria, was shipped to Australia, and made it back go into the second wave with MacArthur and the late day. Thank you. My father, John Ellsworth Brown, was a bombardier in a B-17, flew missions over yeah. Eastern Europe, and he had two brothers that were also bombardiers at the same time. So grandma had three sons in the World War II. And my father-in-law served in the Army, um, Gordon Lavelle Staker, and he served in World War II and Korea. That was actually my grandfather, not my, my, my father. My grandfather-in-law. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm an Australian. Um, I'd like to tell you about my father. He was uh, in the Australian Air Force and he was a fitter and he used to fix up the aeroplanes you pilot guys used to bend. Thank you. Um, my name's Ray Steger and uh, my father had eight children so he was deferred but my two older brothers did serve in uh, World War II. Bye -bye. My older brother, Freddy, uh, served in Germany. And my younger brother had a crossed eye, so he was deferred. He joined the Merchant Marines and was on a ship that was sunk. He survived. So oh. I'm, I'm the baby of my family. <laughs> Thank you. Is there anybody that I missed? One over here. My father, Peter James Stavros, was in the Merchant Marines, and my brother, Louis A. Stavros, was in Patton's Third Army and chased Rommel across the desert. Thank you. And as we uh, kind of finish things here tonight, there's something that came to my mind as I was walking around with a microphone and talking, you know, having people that are mostly my generation talk about their fathers. I don't know if you know how rare it is for our generation to have that much interest in our in our father's service or our relative service during the wartime. Believe me, as a sometimes writer and author and having written a bunch of books, that is not normal. It's so refreshing to hear that, that you have that interest and you have that love, that you've gone to that trouble to do that. And it's up to us, it will be up to us completely in a few years to keep these memories alive and keep these stories of these people alive that we've heard tonight. So thank you all for coming. Thanks for doing a great job. And we're going to end with uh, the guy that inspired me to do this last year. And I'll, he just came to me like a... Uh, he said, hey, I want to put this together. And you, you, got, you got less than a week. And, uh, and he said, you know, he's going to be like all those other bureaucrats that uh, are going to tell me that it takes three or four months to do this. And I said, no. Uh, what do you want? You know, and so uh, we put it together and we had a great time last year. And thanks. Thanks very much, Mr. Kohler. And also, don't don't. Where's that lovely wife of yours? Yeah, we can't forget the missus, the real veteran of the family. Here. We're going to end with a couple of words from Mr. Kohler. I'd just like to remind everyone that this coming December 7th will be the 75th anniversary of that event. And I'd like to invite all of you that can to come to the uh, East Bay Campus, University of California, over on Ignacio Valley Road, uh, where we will uh, have a uh, short memorial service to honor those 2,400 and some individuals who lost their lives there that morning. And then we will light the beacon, uh, and we do that as a, as a remembrance of all those lives that were lost there that morning. So if it's possible for you to do so, be there. Uh, and, and all they ask is just to be remembered. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>